Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I'm gonna to be preparing a skillet crown meatloaf. All right, I gotta tell you guys, I'm pretty stoked to be sharing this recipe with you today. This is kind of a crazy meatloaf, a little bit unique for sure. We're gonna be using ground pork, ground beef, chorizo, and bacon in this meatloaf today. But before we get to the meats, we're gonna start off by caramelizing some onions. All right, now normally when I caramelize onions, I like to go with onion slices. Uh, but today we wanna make sure that these onions get distributed throughout the meat that they're going into fairly evenly, so we're gonna go with dicing. Uh, this will also expedite the caramelization process. All right, we'll start off by throwing a half stick of butter in our skillet. As soon as your butter is melted, you can add your onions. And this is over just medium heat. And then we're gonna toss just a little bit of salt on there. This is gonna help draw the moisture out. We're gonna throw these onto the cooker. This is preheated to 375. We've got the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill rolling today. We'll just let these cook down for probably about 15 minutes while we go work on everything else. Next thing I wanna work on is our mushrooms. Now we're working with some dried mushrooms today, so we're gonna go ahead and rehydrate those in a pan on the stove top. I've got a half ounce of oyster mushrooms, dried oyster mushrooms here. And to rehydrate these today, we're gonna to be using beer. Take about a cup of our farmhouse ale. All right, I'm gonna stir these up, get them on the burner. High heat, we're gonna cover it up and bring this up to a boil. All right, when this comes up to a boil, you can turn it down to medium heat, cover it up and continue cooking. We're using two different cheeses in our meatloaf today, a manchego cheese and a queso fresco. We've got the onions and the mushrooms going, so while those are working, let's mix together the remainder of the ingredients. I'm gonna combine two pounds of ground beef, now this is 85-15 ground beef. 90-10 would work great too because there's plenty of fat coming into this from other areas. Got about nine ounces of chorizo. And two pounds of ground pork. And I'll add to the meat a cup of bread crumbs. A half cup of Big Rick's Chipotle ketchup. We're gonna need some more of this later to brush on top. I'm gonna crumble up about four ounces of queso fresco to add inside the meatloaf. The manchego will save for the topping. Now this queso fresco is gonna add a little bit of saltiness to the meatloaf and a little bit of creaminess at the same time. We're also gonna add about two tablespoons of capers and the brininess of these capers is another thing that's gonna help cut the fattiness of the meats. I'm gonna throw one egg in there to help bind. All right, these mushrooms are softened up, so we're just gonna strain them from the liquid. We give these a dice and toss them in with everything else. All right, our onions not fully caramelized, but enough color on there to really add some depth of flavor. So we'll go ahead and throw these in with everything else. All right, so this is mixed. Everything's incorporated really evenly now. It's looking very tacky. So we're ready to put this into our skillet. We're just gonna wipe out that lodge 12 inch skillet we used for the onions and we'll cook it right in there. All right, this is called the skillet crown meatloaf because we are going to form it into the shape of a crown. Now there's a couple of reasons why we're going to cook it in this form. Uh, I think the first one probably is that it looks really cool. Secondly, it should cook faster and more evenly than if we were to just fill the whole skillet with meat, which would be kind of a crazy idea anyway. 
I have about a four inch wide bowl here that I can place in the middle. It's gonna catch a little bit of the fat that comes off of this. And it's also gonna allow this to keep its shape. I'm gonna hit the top with a little bit of Cattleman's Grill Steakhouse seasoning. This is a, a Southwest Steakhouse seasoning. It's got some great herbs and stuff in it. And I told you before, we're gonna need some more Big Rick's Chipotle ketchup. That's because we're gonna glaze the top of it right now. Not too thick of a layer, just enough to give it a little bit of sweetness on top. All right, then after the barbecue sauce, we're gonna hit it with our manchego cheese. And the finishing touch, some slices of bacon. These uh, have been sliced in half. We're gonna distribute them evenly across the surface. In case you need a reason, other than just the addition of bacon, this will help you to cut your portions nice and evenly. All right, we'll put our bowl in place. We've got a dozen hefty portions ready to go. So let's get this onto the smoker. We're still running this grill at 375. Place that guy right there on the top shelf. Let the smoker work its magic. Well, the meat loaf's been on for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. I've been checking the temperature and we're reaching our target temperature of 165 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off now. See that bacon's getting crispy on top and look at all that fat that we've collected and trapped in the bowl. That's great because we can get rid of that before we eat this. We've given our meatloaf a few minutes to rest. It's cooled down just enough that we can kind of get that bowl out of there and slice this to serve it up. You can see all that fat that it captured and now that fat isn't going to be just making the whole thing greasy. And the way to make that trick really work is periodically while that's cooking, take a fork or something and push that bowl down so that the fat can drain into it. I'm gonna go ahead and snag a bite of this. Gotta get some of that bacon, some of that cheese, a little bit of everything. Mm. That's fantastic. Oh, there's plenty of moisture in the middle of that. I love the crunchiness from the bacon. You know, inside the meatloaf, definitely pick up on some of that saltiness from the cheese, from the capers. There's a little hint of earthiness, I think, that's coming from the meat itself as well as those mushrooms, but the manchego and the bacon on top just steals the show. You know, it's coated in that ketchup sweetness, so it all balances out really great. This is a fantastic dish. It presents so well. It's such a great thing to break out for the family, for a gathering or something like that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to the sauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.